Well, hello everyone. This is Richard Kadish, owner and broker in charge of Go Gated Realty, Hilton Head Island and Bluffton, South Carolina. Today is February 26, 2019, and we're in Sun City Hilton Head. And you're looking at one of the Pulte Martin Ray models. It's a showcase home, ready to go. Not everybody can take the six months that it takes to build one of these new homes. And so Pulte, at any one time, has several under construction. Some of them completely finished, like this one, this Martin Ray, which has three bedrooms, two bathrooms, a home office, big screen porch, water view, oversized two-car garage, some walk-up storage, lots of luxury features that you'll see when we walk through. The home has 2,061 square feet and it is listed at $409,990 with Dell Web Communities. I'm showing it to you as a buyer's agent with 42 years of Hilton Head Island and Bluffton real estate experience. We're down at the end of the street where there is some new construction. You can hear some of that going on in the background. And in this series of homes, these are called the uh, expedition homes, the mid-size homes. They have the smaller series called the pinnacles, excuse me, called the passports, the expeditions, of which the Martin Ray is one, and then finally you have the pinnacles, which are the largest. Well, again, my name is Richard Kadish. K-A-D-E-S-C-H, my company, Go Gated Realty, like gated communities. I'm the gated community specialist, ladies and gentlemen, and both Go Gated Realty and gated community specialist are federally registered trademarks. Well, let's go in and take a look. Uh, this house has hardy plank siding or concrete fiberboard siding, vinyl shutters. It has a recessed front door. We have gutters. Yeah, out of the weather. The front door is out of the weather. I like that. Let's go in and take a look. And we have wood floors right from the foyer. Our line of sight is through the archway into the living area. We have crown molding in the foyer. Immediately to the right, we have our home office. defined by some beautiful French doors, glass panel doors. This one shuts and sets the room off from the kitchen where there is a large walk-in pantry and a butler's pantry area here. And this pair of doors sets the room off from the foyer and again, we have crown molding all around these flat ceilings, wood floors right on through. It's a five inch plank in a medium brown color, looking good. Our coat closet is there to the left. And as we continue into the living area, our dining area is set off to the left side with also has the second and third bedrooms. Our kitchen area here to the right with the large flat one level island. And this is a gas community so we have, let's walk on through the kitchen, we have a gas range top here. The upgrade in this one is with the uh, KitchenAid appliances, your double oven configuration for your microwave and your oven here. Coming back around into that butler's pantry, the granite tops continue into the pantry. We have some glass doors on the cabinets and this large walk-in pantry over here. I think that's big enough for just about anybody, even if you are raising a family, let alone in this 55 and over community, where most likely it's just him and her We've got the backsplice that comes up behind the uh, range top there. And in this configuration, 
The microwave oven is moved over to the right side. Sometimes they call this a gourmet kitchen configuration. We have the single bin stainless sink with the swan neck faucet. And it looks like we have brush nickel hardware here. And we have the uh, KitchenAid dishwasher with a stainless steel bin. When you have an open floor plan, folks, you need a quiet dishwasher. And having a stainless steel bin helps with that. It's more, it's more insulated, and of course it's more sanitary. All of this opens up to this large living room area with the triple pane telescopic or cascading sliding door, which is so popular these days. Let's go out back and get a, a look at that right away, and we'll come back inside, of course. Now here's the big screen porch and a beautiful water view. We have a beadboard ceiling on the porch. And we have concrete that some people might decide to paint or tile, but you would choose that finish on your own. All the yards here at Sun City Hilton Head are sodded with sprinkler systems. And your annual HOA on the north side here, this is Sun City North. Well, it's $29.98 a year, $29.98. That includes yard care, includes yard care. Now across the highway, uh, Route 278, in what's called Sun City Common, the annual fee is lower, but it does not include yard care. The difference is $858 a year. That breaks down to $71.50 per month. And folks, uh, that's a real bargain. I'm not here to sell <laughs> yard care services or to toot anybody's horn, except my own, I guess, because I'm showing this to you as a buyer's agent, and I, my buyers need to have all the facts, and I help my buyers make these comparisons and evaluate all the information. Well, it's very difficult to maintain your yard in this area for $71.50 per month. And that would include the blow and go, you know, the cutting and the edging, the pine straw, the weed control, all of that throughout the year. That's a good deal and a very popular trend, especially with the seniors, the retirees. They like to be able to shut the doors, lock the doors, travel, not have to worry about yard care. Well, that's what this whole program is about. It's been very, very popular. Let someone else take care of your yard. And if you can do it at a bargain price, so much the better. So here you get a big view of the central living area of this house. It's on slab, which means it's on a concrete platform, which means we have high ground here, floodplain C. I get a lot of questions as a buyer's agent about people's fears of floods, things you see in the news make you concerned about that, as it should. We'll talk when you call. Again, I represent you, the buyer. I don't work for Sun City Hilton Head. I don't work for Del Webb Communities or Pulte Homes. I work for my buyers as a buyer's agent. Now one of the distinctive things about the Martin Ray plan is this circular island here that gives you this breakfast bar with corbels. Very distinctive for the Martin Ray plan. Well, let's go into the master bedroom. It's at the back and on our way we have a storage closet. Can't have too much of that because we don't have basements here in this semi-tropical climate. This is the South Carolina low country. We're on slab, no basement. We pass a laundry room with a granite top, lots of cabinets. These are extras, these are add-ons and expensive options that the builder has put into this house, ready to go, what they call a showcase home. You'll provide your own washer and dryer. It'll go right there. Of course, we have tile floors. And into the master bedroom we go with a beautiful trio of large windows at the back where you'll enjoy that beautiful water view. 
This home has the correct solar orientation, so you're not going to have the afternoon sun flooding through those windows. You can enjoy the view 100%. Built-in recessed lights into this tray ceiling. You'll be installing a ceiling fan in this or any house you build because that gives you greater energy efficiency and greater comfort. We'll talk all about that stuff in greater detail when you call. But new homes are more energy efficient than resale homes, ladies and gentlemen. They're built much tighter than they used to be. Okay, so here is our primary bathroom. And it's a beauty. We have a double basin vanity with a quartz top. Quartz is the new thing, new for several years now. More preferred and more expensive than granite. And in this case with a rectangular basin, big mirror across there. You'll choose your options when you build, by the way. If this one is sold, as it probably will be when you respond to this video, well, we'll build one for you. Or one of the other models in this series, kind of the mid-range or larger, as you wish. We have the, that's a uh, linen closet there. Our commode is in that closet there. Over here we have a big walk-in closet with beautiful tile work. High horizontal window lets in light, gives you privacy. A frameless glass door. Look how clear that is. That's very popular these days. With a bench, has a fiberglass pan, which is that floor, if you will. And then here on the floor we have the same tile, ceramic tile, the rectangular tiles, which are just pulls everything together, looks really great. And then here we have a big walk-in closet, a singular closet for him and for her, but I think that is certainly big enough for most people. And you can always bring in some custom shelving and cabinets if you want. This then is our primary or master bathroom master bedroom with the big windows there let's head on up towards the front and we're going to see the second and third bedrooms now what's different about this martin ray and it's the only one i've ever been in that has this is that they have opted for one of the modifications that takes this area here this bedroom here that we're looking at which otherwise would be a larger garage. And they've chosen an option to turn it into a bedroom. It's the only one I've ever been in. Most Martin Rays are two bedrooms and a den. And this one is three bedrooms and a den. It actually just adds another 100 square feet, but makes it a lot more versatile for many people. The blue tape, well, that's a punch list item. The building superintendent comes through when the house is finished and puts blue tape where the painter needs to come back and touch up a scuff or a scrape. Here's our second or third bedroom, depending on how you're counting. And you see the ceiling is wired for your ceiling fans or your ceiling light, but they haven't installed it yet. That would be an aftermarket item. You would choose the ceiling fans, and most people would do this. They would choose for a 52 inch ceiling fan of your choice and style and cost. Tastes vary and you can choose your own in this house. Now if you build, of course, you'll be choosing everything. You'll be choosing everything from the handles, like these lever handles that are brushed metal handles. You'll choose your flooring, wood or laminate. You'll choose your tile floors. Here's our second bathroom with a fiberglass tub and shower. And this is a uh, either a quartz or it possibly could be a, a granite top. I'm not 100% sure. Sometimes it's hard to tell. These new building materials are so good. Now this is the entrance to the garage. I'm going to take a quick look out here because there's more to understand about how these homes are built out here. First off, Pulte offers an extended garage. And what that allows is it allows walk-up storage. Uh, now, the first step is to extend your garage. That in itself is an option. 
Your second step is to opt for the walk-up storage. Well, here's how that works. We'll walk up and you'll see for yourself. Now in the world of homes, uh, a walk-up storage is better than a pull-down stairway, which is better than a hatch. As we get older, <laughs> uh, we like those hatches less and less in those pull-down stairways. But up here we see this non-heated and cooled storage area. <clears throat> and as we look up, we see the shiny surface of the roof deck. That is the thermal board, which is another energy-saving feature that keeps your attic cooler, so it keeps your ceiling cooler, keeps your energy bills lower, and that of course has been for a long time a hot topic. Lower energy bills over time is what we want. New houses are tighter with more energy efficiency, less heat loss or cool loss through leaky ducts. These houses are built tight. I guess to say correctly, it would be they're built tightly. So big two car garage without the third bedroom, this area where the stairway goes would be reconfigured and it would go on back. And that's where your golf cart would go, your wood shop would go, your motorcycle would go, any number of things would go. Here's your whole water cutoff over here. You need to know where that is. And this is what's called a finished garage. It's sheetrocked, it's finished off. This area here, some people like to put in what's called a drop zone, a piece of woodwork that has a, a bench that lifts up for storage and it has hooks where you hang your hat, keep your umbrella, another little closet here. This then is the Martin Ray. Well, let me give you my contact information and invite you to call me or email. Again, ladies and gentlemen, I work as a buyer's agent. And that means I represent you with the right agreement, of course. It's easy to do because the commission that I earn is already in the price of this house and every other listed house, every other new build. <clears throat> I am a former licensed South Carolina home builder. I love working with my buyers who want new homes and it's very routine for us to compare new to newer homes to older homes. We compare neighborhoods. We compare everything that's of importance to you. Location, price, size, utility. Of course, we're not talking about this today, but if you were into a rental market, we'd be talking about the rentability of the house, etc. Whatever it is that's important for you, I'm here for you, I work for you, my fee is already in the price of the house. If you don't buy and close, I don't get paid. So I think experience counts. I have 42 years, I guess it's 43 years now, of local real estate experience. I'm sure I can help you in your success. I sure would like to hear from you about your real estate needs. So I invite you to call me or email my cell number 843-684-2933 I'll say again it's 843-684-2933 and my email address rich at gogated.com I'll spell that out it's r-i-c-h at g-o-g-a-t-e-d dot com my website, gogated.com. You can reach me there too. If you want to find me, you will. I'll offer to send you a list of all the houses for sale here in Sun City. We can filter them as best as possible according to your preferences, your price range, and so forth. Let's talk. Let's work together to find the home and the community that's best for you. Thank you very much for watching this video, ladies and gentlemen. I've enjoyed showing you this home. I look forward to hearing from you. And if you like the video, please subscribe. <coughs> Excuse me. There are more at the Go Gated channel on YouTube. Thanks again. Hope to see you soon.